Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Xavier Sedaris, owner of Exclusive Ink with two locations in Connecticut. Today I want to talk a little bit about inkjet stencils. Um, I came across this product about two months ago at the Philadelphia Tattoo Convention. Been using it ever since and it's absolutely amazing. Um, it's a really simple concept. They formulated the stencil ink, um, comes in a four ounce bottle. You just gotta get one of these Epson printers and you fill up the ink tanks and the stencil prints right on the piece of paper, whatever paper you wanna use and it transfers right over to the skin amazingly. So in this industry, the way it's progressing and the way that you have so much new talent out there, just amazing artists, um, a lot of competition. Um, it's super important to always try to stay innovative, to stay ahead of the pack, um, keep progressing. And this machine definitely is something that helps me out so much. It saves time. Um, it creates amazing stencils. Um, I mean, there's just so many different benefits from it. I've tried every other stencil product in the market, you know, and, you know, from the brother, pocket jet which is you know cool but it's very limited to what it can do um the standard thermal printer which is pretty much basic um this this inkjet is just so different from any of those other products because the stencils that you can create from them the way you can format um the way that you can print you can air print you can um print on several different pieces of paper um, the stencil stays on um, so I just quickly want to go through a couple of those ways that really helped me out to use this product Okay, guys, so it's actually really really simple um, It's a couple of different ways you can do this when you buy the product it comes um, In a four ounce bottle like this and it does have a spout on so by the way um, One thing that I really do love about this as well is that as soon as you order it's usually shipped out the next day um, You get the product within three or four days um, Which is good because there's a lot of times you order something and it takes weeks before it's even shipped out Which is super annoying um, but yeah, it comes like this and it also has the stencil prep um, We'll go over that later, but um, it has a little nozzle here So you obviously you want to get the Epson that has a tank. All right um, There's a couple different variations of this. You can do the uh, Wi-Fi air print That's what I really like to do because I print on my tablet my computer whatever without having any wires or anything um, The tank comes like this with These different with these different ink tanks and you just take this off super easy and just fill like this all right and you want to fill them up evenly so that the ink is distributed evenly in each one um, or you can do something else to fill it a little faster when you get the ink from epson this printer it comes with inks already and what you can do is dump that ink out in the toilet rinse it off rinse it out and just fill one of these bottles up like i did with this one all right and you just put it right in here and it'll go do, 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 super quick okay so once again um like i was talking about before there's several different ways that you can print um several different papers you can use um, which is a great thing about this because you just have a variety and every artist is different and likes to work different ways um this is the recommended paper it's a standard tracing paper by pack on and um i mean i've used the Canton tracing paper. I've used photo paper, which transfers over good. This is on photo paper right here. It's a stencil I printed out. I tattooed that actually. Um, this is regular printing paper. I mean, you can see the clarity of these stencils is just amazing. And um, I'll show you guys real quick how easy it is to actually stencil something up. And um, this thing is amazing. You save so much time with it. You know, there's been times where a client will come in and I'll be designing and it'll take me two, three hours to stencil it. I'll tell him, you know, go grab a bite and you know, I'm just gonna work on the stencil. By the time I'm tattooing, I'm like, I'm already burnt out, you know? So, I mean, this thing is just amazing at how much time it really saves. So, um, and I'll show you on my phone, you know, how you can air print, select the printer, print takes a second to contact the printer Okay, so again, um, 
the wonderful thing about this product is that there's so many different variations of doing things with it. You're not just restricted or limited to one certain way. Um, every artist is different again. Every artist likes to do things a different way. Um, for me, the way that I like to create my stencils is I like to see those hard lines. You know, those hard lines that you get from um, you know, your normal hand stenciling can be achieved with different programs. You can do it with uh, Procreate, you can do it with Photoshop, you can do it with Adobe Sketch. Uh, me personally, I like Photoshop. So the way that I create this is through Photoshop and I'll show you guys right now. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open your design. For this project, we chose to do a tiger and then you will go to filter, filter gallery and then you will use sketch and photocopy. And then you can adjust your design according to how you want it stenciled. You can go lighter, you can go darker. And then you would just print it. Okay, so as you can see, um, this is the printed stencil that we just did. Um, and I mean, all this little detail in here for me to hand stencil would have taken me, you know, at least an hour and a half. So, um, and it picks up everything really, really well with the filter gallery that I use for this format. Um, so I'll show you right now, this is the stencil prep. I really love this too. It actually um, holds stencils for hours and hours. I mean, the whole session, um, it's been times where I'll finish the tattoo and the stencil will still be on underneath. So, so you just wipe a little bit of this on. Everybody should know how to apply a stencil by now, but I mean, I just wanted to show you for the video. Let it dry a little bit. You want it tacky, you don't want it too wet because uh, you don't want the stencil to smear. Should be good now. not really too important the placement now because I'm not actually gonna tattoo this on here. I just wanna show you how the tattoo looks, how the stencil looks. Good. So usually what I do is just make sure everything is smoothed out on there really good. Hold down for a couple seconds and then um, pull it off and you see how well it transferred. And you could go darker, lighter, however you want. I mean, that's gonna be good for me. Um, I let it dry for a good 10 minutes. I'll set up my inks and my needles while that's drying. And um, you know, that, that'll that hold for hours and hours. I mean, you could do a lot of wiping and all that stencil stay on there and hold. And you can see all the whiskers and all the detail in the fur. Um, so, I mean, like I said, it saves you hours of stencil time and preparation. Um, and it gives you, you start fresh, you know, you don't have to stencil for an hour and a half or two hours. And then by the time you're in the middle of the tattoo, you know, you're burnt out already. You start fresh on this, ready to go and you know. Okay guys, so just a quick wrap up. Um, this product, as you can see, I mean, it's amazing. I really think that it's gonna be revolutionary. It's gonna be, you know, something that's in the industry here to stay for a long time. It's a time saver. Um, it's a money saver. Um, I mean, each four ounce bottle you can print 3,000 prints with that, you know? So, I mean, you can make so many stencils that last months and months and months. Um, so, I mean, if you compare it to the regular spirit stencils, you're saving a lot of money, um, which is a big thing in, as well. Um, I mean, the different ways that you can use it, you're not limited, you're not restricted to one certain format. Every artist is different. Um, every artist likes to do it a different way. So you just gotta try it out and see what works for you. I mean, the demonstrations that I did today were the way that I like to use it. But like I said, I mean, um, to each his own. So you just gotta try it out.